Hey there, welcome back. Well, I've had a lot of feedback on my Stream Deck video. And one of the things people asked for is if they could get a Stream Deck to connect wirelessly to Home Assistant without having a computer involved. Well, Local Bytes has just come up with something to solve that problem. This is called the Local Deck and it connects using ESP Home. So having a look at LocalBytes' website, we can see that this device is designed, it doesn't actually have screens like our Stream Deck, but they've designed it at a price point. And it's totally understandable. At this sort of money, we can't expect to have screens. So what they've done is they've got these little plastic keys and all you do is you print your individual little button label for this and then you just install it behind that little plastic cover and that will then be your individualized stream deck button and you can always change this or local deck button you can always go and change that at a later stage if you wish to so it comes with a USB-C power supply and you can get custom face plates as well it seems uh, so it's got 24 buttons all of them are RGB backlit um, and it is using standard MX Brown switches so you can always replace the switches should there be any issue with them when I did when I was installing mine I did have one small problem I bent one of the little um, plug wires at the back but I managed to bend it straight and then it worked perfectly as you can see they're expecting up to 70 million presses so I'll be very surprised if you're going to use more of these so it's powered by an ESP32 and pre-configured pre-flashed with ESP Home. All you do is install it, connect it up via Bluetooth, and then you can configure the add-on to allow you to actually configure the individual buttons to your taste. So having a look at the device, I really like the case. It's not your average sort of 3D printed stuff. As you can see, the buttons stand off like that, and they've got this little plastic cap that goes over the top of the white one and then you just pop in your little label below the plastic there. Um, on the back side of the case we've got a USB-C power supply over there plus we've got some mounts so that you can mount it on the wall. We also have these little mounts for standing it. Now these seem to be a little bit flimsy. It would have been nice if these could have been a bit more solid. Um, it also does have these little rubber things that you could actually stand it. There's another power supply on the side. So I've plugged my local deck into the power. And as you can see, it's already popped up here on Home Assistant. This is connecting via Bluetooth. So now I just go connect or configure and submit. And now it will ask me for my Wi-Fi password. So we can go, first of all, we need to go identify device. That's pressing the bottom key in the bottom left corner. And now we can go along and connect via Wi-Fi. So I'm going to put my Wi-Fi password in here and we'll submit that. And it's connecting the device to the network. So if we go along to ESP Home Devices and we open up our local deck. So as you can see, we've got access to all 24 of those RGB lights within the Home Assistant. And obviously we've got full control over each one of those. We've got a brightness control over here. We've got the access to each and every button as well. So this one will show us whenever each and any one of those buttons is pressed. So we can go along within this Home Assistant and actually create our own automations with, with these buttons and control the lights. But they've also created this local deck configurator, which is an add-on. Now, if we go in here, it is a little bit convoluted, but the way it works is you can select one of the buttons and from here, you actually select the entity within Home Assistant, and this will then give you access to that entity control directly from that button. So we've got things like toggle entity. So for example, when it presses, we can toggle it. We've got the follow state. So this means that each time we change the state of an LED, for example, it will actually go on or off. It can also follow the brightness and even color they've just added. So the actual button or the LED behind the button will actually display the color of that individual bulb. So this is pretty awesome. So all we do is we go along and we add in 
controls for each and every one of our Home Assistant components that we want to control. What we then do is we go save here. This will now save the changes and then all we need to do is go back to ESP Home, select our local deck within ESP Home and we do an install. And this will then take that latest update and install it to your local deck and your local deck will then run these latest changes and assign those actions to the buttons. Please let me know what you think of this new product in the comments below. I think it's a really new concept and I really have my utmost admiration for what they've developed here. But do bear in mind, I think that stocks are fairly limited at the moment, so you may need to wait a little bit before you can get your own one. Anyway, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.